Good Sunday morning, everyone. 10 Tampa Bay Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins here with a tropical update and things are getting busy out there. We've got three waves that we're watching right now. We have Invest 94L, which is this little area right in here that's moving to the west. It's got a small t chance, a small time frame to do anything, but it does have about a 50% chance of developing. And so you can see it's just over the water. You need the center over water, but the center's right about here, and it's going to be moving into Mexico. So I really don't think this has time to do much. Technically, we could get a depression out of this, perhaps a storm. We've got winds at 35 miles per hour now. If it organizes it all today, it would be a tropical storm, but then it would immediately go onshore into Mexico. So it's not a threat for us, uh, and it's just mainly a rainmaker. It's not going to have a chance to get very strong. Then we have this thing. Gosh, this is Hurricane Burl, Category 3, and it's setting records already, and it will probably set more, and I'll talk about that. Then we have a couple more waves, but really this is the other wave, 96L, that we're watching. And that one has about a 70% chance of developing. So let's start with Burl. Look at the eye on this thing. What's called rapid intensification. You drop 24 millibars of pressure in 24 hours. We're, we're way above that. Winds are now at 115 miles per hour, obviously highest right around that center there. And it's headed towards the Lesser Antilles, the Southern Windwood Islands here. We've got uh, Barbados, Tobago. We also have St. Lucia there as well. I think the track comes right in here somewhere. But the pink that you see there are hurricane warnings. Tobago, Barbados, St. Lucia. Granada is going to be close, but it's going to come right in the middle there late tonight and tomorrow. So the highest winds will likely avoid most of these islands, but we're still talking hurricane force winds for them. So they need to be ready. The center is about 350, 360 miles from Barbados at this point. The weather will go downhill starting tonight for them. So they need to get their preps done before sunset. Now here's where it gets interesting. 115 mile per hour winds now by this evening or really technically 2 a.m. on Monday we're thinking 130 mile per hour winds that is category four we have never had a category four hurricane in the Atlantic Basin in the month of June it's all I think the earliest was Dennis in July July 8th of 2005 this would be a record breaker if we get to 130 mile per hour winds before we get to midnight tonight it will set another record. Right now, it's the strongest storm. Uh, the, the first, it's the third. I'll, I'll show these numbers up. It's a major hurricane now. We've only had three, including this one, east of the Antilles or in the Atlantic Basin. We don't normally get them. Here it is, Monday afternoon, coming through. It does weaken a little bit in the Caribbean, but we're talking 120, 115 mile per hour winds headed towards Jamaica. It's going to be very close to Jamaica. And then Grand Cayman, which is right there, that's Wednesday for Jamaica, Thursday, Wednesday night for Grand Cayman into Thursday. And then look at this. This is Thursday, Thursday night towards Cozumel. Lots of cruises going in, this, in these areas here this time of the year. So these folks really need to keep a close eye on it. Uh, the good news is the forecast models basically keep it to the south of us. Now here's something interesting. That's dust from the Sahara. Here's where it will be as we get into Wednesday. Some of this dust is going to catch up to it. There's Jamaica right there. That will help to weaken it a little bit, especially look as it gets over here by Cozumel. There's also some wind shear in here. But it's not going to weaken it a whole lot. So the forecast keeps it a strong hurricane as it goes through. Eventually, I think we'll get some of that dust in here next week. Here are the forecast models for Burl. Most of them are down here running just south of Jamaica, just south of Grand Cayman and into the Yucatan. But then look, the, the tail end of this, it wants to turn up and go to the north and the west. So we'll really have to watch that for Texas. And it's still hard to tell what shape it will be in at this point. There'll be some shear on it, there'll be some of that dust, and the center will likely have gone across land, which will knock it down quite a bit. So here's the Saffir Simpson wind scale. Here's how we basically judge hurricanes and find out what category it is. Here's the issue. 130 is Cat 4, and that's why we're so close to getting those records. Only the third major Atlantic hurricane in June, anywhere in the Atlantic Basin, right? But it's the first major, a Cat 3 or higher, that we've ever had east of the Lesser Antilles in June. Like this is this is August and September weather that we're seeing right now. But that water's so warm out there, we're seeing events like this occur. So it set a record for that. Now there's never been a Cat 4 in the Atlantic Basin in the month of June. And that's what we will likely set if we can get there by 
midnight tonight. The earliest was Dennis on July 8th back in 2005. All right, let's talk 96 out. That's the wave way in the back. And you can see the forecast models are very similar to this one, although it is a little bit on the weaker side. And we're just now starting to get models onto this. So we're going to keep an eye on. Here's the forecast models comparing the GFS, the American model, and the European model. That is Burl, both in pretty good agreement. This is 96, starting to develop, although the European is not as, as uh, gusty with it. It thinks it's going to get a little bit weaker than what the GFS. I mean, look at the GFS by Thursday. It says we've got a hurricane here, and the European model is saying maybe a depression. Meanwhile, there's Burl. Again, this is Thursday of this upcoming week. Burl goes into the Yucatan. Now there's not much left by Friday. It's near Jamaica, it's south of Cuba. We really don't see too much. The GFS has it right in here. The European really doesn't have much with it. So right now, Burl does not look, Burl will go out ahead of this, and then you'll end up getting whatever the next one will be, depending if we get a name for this one coming behind it. Here's the deal. Burl's a strong hurricane, a lot of winds. There's going to be what's called upwelling going on as this moves off towards the west. The hot water at the top of the surface here is going to get blown aside and cooler water from underneath will come up and it's going to leave a wake of cooler water, less energy for the second system, 96L, to use. And so you would imagine that Burl would be the strongest one coming through. This, the one right behind it on its heels will have a little less energy and won't be quite as strong. All right, here are the next names. Well, obviously, we've got Burl. Chris is next up, and Debbie. We could get Chris with the one in the, the Bay of Campeche, the southwest Gulf of Mexico, and then 96 would be Debbie, but these are going to be the next two that we'll have to watch. Whew. Get all that? It's June. This is wild. Uh, things do look a little bit quieter, though, as we get towards uh, the end of next week, once we get both of these systems out of the way.